Ladies, welcome to our channel. If you are coming back for more, thank you so much. We're so grateful for you. And if you are new, we're grateful for you too. But I am Esther. And I'm Amanda. And today we are bringing you another crafting video. We're gonna bring you all of the traditional black and orange Halloween stuff with some fun, easy, and pretty inexpensive crafts. If you haven't watched the last Halloween crafting video we posted, we did farmhouse decor in that one. We will put a link to it in the corner, so make sure you check that out as well. All right, let's get crafting. So for this first craft, we used two of these haunted house cutouts from the Dollar Tree, as well as some of their tower blocks and painted them black. We also painted the house houses black right after we filled in little holes at the top. And then we took some tissue paper and just put it over the windows to make it kind of look like light once we put the candles behind it. Then we cut out a little piece of brown paper and put some lines on it and that was gonna be for the front door. And we just glued all of those on with a glue stick from the Dollar Tree. And then we took some of this ribbon, spider web ribbon, to make it look like there were spider webs in the window and just glued a little square behind each one. I did have a ghost um, in one of the windows as well, but I decided to take it off because I thought it didn't look quite like I wanted it to. So I just removed it and redid what I had already done there. All right, and then she used a hot glue gun to glue all of the tower pieces to the back of the house. And she just spaced them out to make it supportive all the way around and then glued the other piece on top. She used one more block to put in front of the door to make like a front step and use this little foam pumpkin as well just to make it look extra cute. Glued that on. And here you'll see the finished product with the candles in. How cute is that, you guys? I love how simple it is. It looks so cute. All right, so this next, next craft was a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. We took off the embellishments and sandpapered it, and then we painted the pumpkin black and the stem gold. We took these spiders from Dollar Tree as well. You, you might have seen these in the previous video. Cut them, cut the ring portion off. And we don't have a lot of footage of this, but we did, we painted that black and we wrapped it in the same spiderweb tool from the Dollar Tree, which is why we wanted to do the spiders as well. So here you'll see that all put together and we apologize for the lack of footage. And then yes, there was a cute little black bow that Esther put on there as well to just really make it look cute and classy. It does look so classy. All right, so for this next craft, we took this door hanger from the Dollar Tree with two witch legs, a really cute dishcloth and a tray and we cut the dishcloth, I guess it's a dish towel, down to fit inside that really cute tray. We're turning it into a sign. So we just cut the edges off nice and neatly and then we did take a lighter and just burn the edges a little bit so that they wouldn't fray once we glued it down to the sign. And then after we glued it down to the sign, we did add a strand of Dollar Tree Halloween like fairy lights around the edges as well as some of some more of those spiders the orange ones and glued the witch legs to the bottom and a piece of ribbon on the top to hang it and it looks so cute so cute all right so this next craft we did we took this wicked sign from Dollar Tree and this stand sign which was also from Dollar Tree and we painted them and glued them together and again we we apologize for the lack of footage but it was really simple just used paint and we had this awesome finished product and then we took a really cute candle that we bought at Walmart and we just melted it down in a pot of water on the stove and then we took this really cute jack-o-lantern um, tea light holder from the Dollar Tree, put a wick in the bottom, and just poured that wax in there so we could have a yummy smelling candle. So literally just for a couple dollars. How cute is that, you guys? Love it. All right, the next was this pumpkin sign, again, from Dollar Tree. And we took the ribbon off and filled the hole in, painted the whole thing orange, and we needed multiple coats of that. <laughs> 
And then while I was painting, Esther took the beads from the Dollar Tree and pulled out just the orange ones to make a handle. And she used twine and she did tape it to make the bead slide on easier. And then we added in some white paint to give some extra dimension and depth into the pumpkin, really made it look more real and cute. And with this, you guys just keep blending until it looks how you want it to. It's just like <laughs> our friend at Bless Beyond Measure always says, it's like contouring your face, right? You just keep blending until it looks good. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> we also found this really cute stencil that you're going to see here in a second at the Dollar Tree, and we wanted to use it. So that's what we're going to put on this sign. We stuck the stencil down using some painter's tape. And then we just did most of it black and then we did the little ghost white and the window yellow. So we learned this cute trick where you take a makeup sponge and you put the original color that you painted the pumpkin or whatever it is down first, let that dry part of the way and then put the other colors on top and it prevents bleeding. Um, we did have a little bit of bleeding, but it actually ended up looking really cute. Kind of looked creepy, which we loved. So we just left it and we love how it turned out. All right, how cute. So then we um, did a little bow with twine. Esther is showing that here. And we just glued that right under the stem with hot glue. And we did paint that stem block to give some contrast too. And then flipped it around to hot glue the handle that Esther had made with the beads and twine glued it onto the back. So as you can see, we just left that, that pumpkin on there. Too much glitter. Yep. <laughs> awesome. So cute. I already have it hanging up in my house. For the next one, we took this cute little sign and we sit the, and these three little signs from the Dollar Tree that came in a three pack. So it was just $1. And the very top one did have some thick kind of glitter residue that we had to scrape off, but the other ones didn't. Then we painted the whole thing black using chalk paint, also from the Dollar Tree. And then we took some E6000 and put that on those little metal decals. We knew it was gonna be outside and exposed to the elements, so we wanted it to stick really well. And then on top of that, we put a little bit of hot glue just to make it stick right away. And then glued one of those onto each of the three spots. And it's that simple, you guys. It looks really cute. She has this already out by her front door too, and it's really cute. So easy, so simple. Even somebody like me can do it. <laughs> and Amanda did do this whole craft all on her own. <laughs> and all items are from the Dollar Tree. So. Oh, yes, and then the spiders. I forgot we did that. I did too. <laughs> so cute. Just added some extra fun. So we did do the E6000 and the hot glue for the spiders as well. Again, it's gonna be outside, so we wanted it to really last. All right, the next craft was this bucket from Dollar Tree and these stickers from Target Dollar Spot. And we spray painted the bucket orange with just orange spray paint and used transfer paper to lift up just half of that sign because the whole thing wouldn't fit. I struggled with the transfer paper for quite a while, <laughs> um, but it worked really well once Esther showed me the ropes. So then we just peeled the backing off the transfer paper and just stuck it onto the bucket. And if you don't have transfer paper, you can actually just use contact paper from the Dollar Tree that works just as well. They have some clear stuff that's a great alternative for cheap. And this, again, this looks so cute all by itself, but we just wanted a little bit extra. So we took that um, spider tool, again, that was from the Dollar Tree. You've seen it used in some of our crafts already. And we tied some bows onto each handle just to give it a little extra something. So cute. And it's the perfect treat bucket, you guys. So we put some little fall mix in there on our table and it looks so cute. I just love it. The next one could not be any more simple, you guys. You take a candle pillar holder and that little candle holder at the top, the pumpkin one, and glue them together and tie some ribbon on, put a candle inside, and you have a like 30 second craft that looks super cute and really high end for only two bucks. 
This is another really simple one. We took these little plants from the Dollar Tree, these little succulents, and we spray painted them black. Now I do want to tell you that one did not work. We let it sit in the garage for like a week before we got to finishing it and the spray paint did not dry on that one on the left. So we actually ended up just throwing it away. Um, but that one, the other one turned out really cute. We added a little bit of moss and it's a great addition to a tray. So here's everything you guys, the whole collection together. Just your classic, cute, creepy Halloween. We just love it. They're all so cute, so easy, and so cheap. Yep, and it's <laughs> really inexpensive crafts. Anybody can do these. Oh, that one's my favorite, I think. <laughs> and this little tray, too. I got this at the thrift store for a couple bucks. And it just, it's literally, it looked creepy by itself. It was just kind of that vintage, you know, something you'd find in a haunted house. So we just put all the crafts together on there. And gosh, how cute is that? Okay, ladies, hopefully you had as much fun as we did crafting today and you have some new ideas to decorate your home for Halloween on a budget. Ooh. <laughs> so if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and family and give us a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell. We would really appreciate your support. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite Halloween craft was that we did today and that you are going to make for your house. Don't forget to spread love today. Have a great day.